Hi everyone. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the holding entry everyone dreads, the parallel entry. Now, nobody likes to be faced with a parallel entry, and I can't figure out why, because it's really not that hard. In fact, I would say it's almost easier than a teardrop entry. So let's check it out and see how we can make these things easy. I have a nice right turn holding pattern drawn here. I'm going to add the parallel entry sector just to give you a better idea of exactly which way we're coming at this hold. Here we are. Again, just like a teardrop entry, we're going to track straight to the holding fix. Now once we get to the holding fix, what we're going to do so we're going to execute a left turn and fly a heading that parallels the holding course. We're going to fly this heading for one minute. And then make another left turn, standard rate, back to intercept our holding course. That's really all it is. We cross the Navid, we make one turn to parallel the holding course outbound for one minute, then we make a turn back to intercept the holding course. Now really the hardest part about this entry comes in this last segment where you turn to re-intercept the holding course. Depending on how far you flew out, you may have to put in a pretty aggressive intercept, maybe up to 45 to 50 degrees in order to intercept the holding course prior to getting back to your holding fix. And I think that's really the issue some people have with this type of entry. But the main thing to realize is that you don't have to re-intercept this holding fix. If you come out and you're unable to re-intercept your holding radial, let's say you end up right about here. What do you do? Well. All you need to do is turn to a heading that parallels the inbound radial, so when you come close to crossing the fix, you could just simply start a right standard rate turn back to the outbound heading and come right around the pattern. So again, to reiterate, all we need to do is track to our holding fix, make a turn to parallel the holding course outbound, fly that for one minute, then make one more left turn back in to intercept our holding course. For left turn holds, just the same thing. Fly in, now we're going to make a right turn parallel the course, and another right turn back to the fix. Now this brings up one thing that I do like to emphasize when I talk about parallel holding entries. And that is the sequence of turns to get into the hold. Here's our right turn hold again. Now as we came in on this right turn hold, we made one left turn and another left turn. So right turn hold equals two left turns. If we look at the left turn hold, I bet you can guess exactly what this one's going to do. I'm going to fly in intercept, make a right turn, and another right turn. So left turn holding equals two right turns in entry. I know that sounds a little bit confusing at first, but if it's something you just tell yourself as you're coming at the hold, it really makes it pretty easy. Just tell yourself, I'm going to cross the fix, I turn right, I fly out a minute, I turn right. 
That's all you got to do to enter a left turn hold parallel. Okay, now let's talk about the wind. Okay, so we're coming right back at our fix. We make our left turn. Now, we have a wind that's pushing us into the hold. So we end up actually inside of the holding pattern. So this time, if we execute another left turn, we have really very little chance of re-intercepting our inbound radial. So, here we are. We've now gotten pushed into the holding pattern. Now, as we've talked about before, if we make another left turn, it's very difficult to re-intercept the holding radial. However, if we were to turn into the wind, the wind will actually help us out and push us closer to the course that we want to fly. So in this case, if you get blown inside the hold, it's much easier to turn towards the wind than to do your original turn away from the wind. And that's pretty much all there is to a parallel entry. Just remember, cross the fix, parallel the course outbound, make one more turn to intercept, and you're there. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you learned something from it. I look forward to seeing you again on another lesson.